Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Muscle of Yarn podcast. It's Thursday, May 23rd. So we are almost done with May. I'm not really sure what happened to May. Uh, So this is a podcast about yarn and spinning and crocheting and meerkat shenanigans and all kinds of other stuff. And we are uh, recording at our store in Shelburne, Vermont, which is Muscle of Yarn. Uh, And it is, uh, we record when the store's open, so you will hear some background noise if there's Mm -hmm. customers in the store. Um, Most of them, if they come by and see us, they try to be quiet, but, you know. Some people don't realize we're Some people don't realize we're back here. Yeah. Um, So you can find the store out on all social media as Muscle of Yarn. And we're definitely most active on Instagram and Ravelry, a little bit on Facebook, um, but definitely more uh, Instagram, Ravelry. And you can find our online store at muscleofyarn.com. So, yep. yep. Uh, And I'm Angela. And I'm Kelly. You can find me out on social media, Instagram, and Ravelry as Junior Bird Kid. You can find me on Instagram as Kelly O Spins, and you can find me on Ravelry as Kelly Spins. Nice. And feel free to uh, friend or follow us on either of those platforms, unless you're a spammer, and then I will block you on Instagram. (laughs) We've gone over this before, spammers. (laughs) I will still block you. (laughs) I've blocked like four of them this week. Uh. It's like it's spun back up again. I know. I hadn't seen me for a while and all of a sudden. I know. If you have an Instagram handle that's like knit underscore love, but all your pictures are of things that are crocheted, like you're clearly a spam account. Sorry. Or the t-shirt ones yeah. that they're trying to like. Yeah. Sell me a t-shirt that mm-hmm. I don't need. It might have worked before I understood that you were a spam account. Right. It will work no longer. I have somebody local to me that will make me whatever I want on a t-shirt, so I just go there. <laughs> so they're spam So they're spammers. Take that. <laughs> All right. I've clearly had too much coffee today. This is going to be the Angela show anyway. Is it? Mm-hmm. Are, are they all? No. 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 I've had ones before. Right? They, uh, so, uh, so we're headed into a uh, cold brew season here so like once the temperature gets a little warmer i switch to drinking more cold brew coffee which means i will drink it throughout the day instead of just first thing in the morning (laughs) Uh, and starbucks makes this really awesome cold brew with salted cold cream uh, that is amazing and i might have just had one (laughs) actually i'm still kind of working on it but i've already had most of it so Mm, super fun for everybody (laughs) kelly's like oh man (laughs) no i like it good energy Good energy. All right. So we like to start our podcast. Um, once we can get back all past all of the introductions and me derailing and nonsense with our pick of the week. Mm-hmm. And the way our pick of the week works is that we're going to show you a yarn. And I think uh, Kelly brought over a pattern book, too. So that's mm-hmm. awesome. And for two weeks in our online store or in store with the coupon code that we'll give you, you can get 10% off of your purchase. So, for, of that particular yarn, not like your entire purchase. Just, that yarn, that, just, that product. Disclaimer. <laughs> and we did run, actually, we ran a tutorial in episode 73 because we use Shopify as our system. And so that's like a weird, um, you, don't, you don't put the coupon code until you go pay and then come back. If you're particularly if you're paying with PayPal, mm-hmm. so it can kind of throw you if you you're like, wait, there's no spot for my coupon, um, but there is. And if you have any questions, just call or email us. We're happy to help walk you through it. Um, and I think do we are there signs now for pick of the week mm-hmm. around the store? We are fancy now. Jen is. Jen's fancy, <laughs> and she made us signs. I would have done mine by hand. Which is also what happens when my paralegal goes on vacation and I have to do envelopes. They get addressed by hand. So you always know if I've done them because they're handwritten. Hey, you know, it works. Whatever works. They get to their destination. It still gets mailed exactly the same. And really, nobody cares. 
I don't think. Handwritten addresses, I think, is kind of a nice touch. Except I tend to be really sloppy about it oh. because I'm usually in a hurry and I have a lot of them to do. And you're an attorney. And, yes. They're kind of like doctors. Although your handwriting isn't bad. It's okay. You have kind yeah. of fine handwriting. It can it could be nice when I'm when I put my mind to it and other times I'm the only person that can read it. Mm. So and even sometimes then I'm like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> With your own handwriting? Mm, sometimes. Hmm. Not very often though. I usually I usually get it working through. Okay, so anyway, back on track. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Just stop. Stop with the coffee already. Uh, uh, so, what's our pick of the week this week, Kyle? Uh, our pick of the week is Barocco Mantra. I suppose I could just as easily reach down and get the basket instead of looking at you. Fine. <laughs> what are you going to do, Kel? <laughs> You're like, make yourself useful, lady. Get the basket. <laughs> uh, so, we have six colors in stock of the mantra, but there are some Ooh. others out there. Um, our coupon is only good for what we have in store, and it's also going to be good for their booklet that they're doing, and they're, they do some really great patterns for it, so I'll just show you some of the patterns. There's a dress. I don't know if anybody would tackle that or not. Somebody might. But it's beautiful, and you could even, if you wanted to just do the top of it Ooh. as a sweater, like a summer sweater, you could stop here and, and do the top, I'd and like that would be really pretty. I'd like a yarn ice cream cone here that's fine everywhere. Um, I'm going to put the basket down. That's impeding my progress. There's a little girl's cardigan in here. This is why Kelly it's usually pretty. does the yarn. <laughs> it's fine. You guys and are having fun watching me play the Andrea is making this up as a shop sample right now. She's doing it in that really pretty orange rust color. There. Got it. There's a pretty shawl. We'll give you the details of the yarn here. In so, a and this looks like it's a, like a, a navy. It is. It's yeah. showing kind of blackish on yeah. the screen, but it's really a navy. It is navy. Just so you know. And then there's that as well. So, I think there's like six patterns. That's usually what they do. So, Baroque Mantra. It's 100% silk. It is 100% silk. It retails for $9.99, so basically $10. There is... Yeah, this what? Yeah, Kelly. It's got 182 yards, and they're 50-gram balls. So, that's this it. This rust color is so pretty. Isn't that These lovely? two together that teal beautiful. Is and really that really pretty. These three together. Look at that. Yeah, that's fun. Purdy. And then you can put those three together. Purdy. Very nice. Very nice. So ten percent off Baroque Mantra and the pattern book. There are links in show notes. I'll try to remember to get show notes up quicker. It's or a process. I could do too. I wasn't in the office very much last Friday. Well, I usually get everything done as much as I can at it, the end and then I have to add the video and I I did that what? and then I forgot that I hadn't actually kicked it live. Well, what happened was normally the video, the, it's oh, uploaded right. it by took, like seven. That's right. It was a little longer. And it didn't finish uploading till like one o'clock. And I wasn't at the office, so I couldn't like, sometimes <laughs> I can pause it if it does that, pause it and restart it, and it'll be like, oh, okay, and, and up it'll done. go. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there, but I kept looking for the notifications that it had, and I was like, what is going on? And I finally like... I texted my paralegal and was like, can you check the iPad and is like the podcast uploading? And she was like, it says it's processing and it has like an hour to go. And I was like, this is like at 11. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is going on? It, in, internet? I don't know. Mm. We were having some internet issues well, here. So okay. I think it that might was, have been cause just it was, the company. I, yeah. We have the same company at, the yes. sh at my office. So that's probably what was going on. Um, so yeah, sorry in the delay for uploading. Technical difficulties. And then hence, everything got thrown out of whack uh, within the show notes and everything. So it's fixed now. Yep. We got it. Yay. All right, so I'm going to put my yarn fingers down. Okay. Oh, did we do a coupon code? No. OK. Because <laughs> I would have just put it back down and we would have just gone along and people have been like, what, how are we supposed to buy that yarn, guys? Uh, weekly pick mantra? Sounds good. Okay, so here's the label and I will put it at the bottom of the screen. But, weekly pick mantra. 
Sweet. Excellent. Nice. Done. What you wearing this week? I'm wearing my Zwag. I'm almost a little too hot right now with it. It warmed up outside, but it was perfect this morning mm. for just that little layer over the top um, and not having to wear a coat. But yeah, as the days warmed up, it's I'm getting a yeah. little overheated. It's a nice fingering weight sweater, though, yeah. So it's a little bit more versatile than absolutely. I love the colors. Thank you. Yeah, they said it was going to get more humid. Too. I know, and I do, and I on. don't do well with the humidity still. Yeah. I mean, I've been out here since 2000, so almost 20 years, but I still do not do well with humidity. <laughs> Who does? I don't know. My kids seem fine with it. It doesn't seem to bother them at all. You know, I didn't, as a kid, it didn't bother me as much, but... Now that you're getting... Now that, I, as an adult, I... Because I was a kid, we'd go out and play and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can sleep. It doesn't seem to bother them for sleeping. Like, none of that. And me, I'm just like, ah, my legs are stuck together. Like, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> or it just makes me cranky. Or you have to lay there and just not move at all. Yeah. With the fan blowing yeah. as high as it can on you. Yeah. Head. Oh, Yeah. Um, drink more cold brew, which actually doesn't help because it dehydrates you. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the hot, humid summers. I grew up in a place where it was dry heat, mm. and I still prefer that. But it does make a difference. That's all right. It's fine. I like the dry cold better than the humid cold. So that's there's trade offs. It is where it is. So, yeah, so my Zag sweater. Zwag sweater. Nice. Yeah. I had um, angles on yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It was a little cooler yesterday. And I almost dropped salsa on it. And <gasps> I was like, see, I say that I don't want to knit this color because of my kids. It's nothing to do with my kids. It's me. <laughs> that would have been bad. Well, and sometimes you do a lot of travel in the car and you have to just grab food and to okay. go and. You know, you're eating in the car. I was sitting at my desk when the salsa yeah, incident but, happened. But yes, you're you right. Know. I do eat uh, on the run. frequently on the run. Um, so generally, like a color like this is much better for me because <laughs> it does not show stains because <laughs> they're inevitable. And I'm going to drop my food on myself. Uh, yeah. So I'm wearing no hand knit wear today. I'm boring. Yeah. No. It's just the weather's changing, so it's more... I thought about putting a cowl on, but... Yep. I didn't. So I do have one finished object. I, there is no going to be no link in, in it for show notes. Because they didn't actually make a project page for it, though I should, but I didn't. Baby humpback? Yep, yeah, but it doesn't have a humpback. Because I actually filed the pattern and knit it the way it was supposed to, or knit it, crocheted it the way it was supposed to be crocheted. Amazing when you follow the pattern. Except that it's small, so it's for, it's Abigail's. That's so cute. There's no, there's a little humpbacking in the back because I'm still, that's, we're having, I see, it has, it has a back, a true humpback. A true humpback. <laughs> humpback in the back instead of in the front. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway. Kelly could probably can tell me about how I'm still not knitting it. I'm still trying to knit it or crochet it in the round. Something's off. Anyway, it's fine. It's a cowl. It doesn't really matter. So it's smaller in size than the one that the pattern actually calls for. And I used all of the extra yarn from the other one I made. Nice. Um, so Abigail has one. Clearly she's missed it because it's been in my knitting bag all week. She had it on right when I got done with it and Did she? was wearing it around. Aww. So that's so cute. To give it back to her so she can wear it some more. That's so cute. Uh huh. I like it. Mm -hmm. And look, oh, we forgot to introduce Gage. We did. This is Gage, our podcast meerkat, our mascot, the meerkat, and his her new friend, Angry Stormtrooper. <laughs> Gage okay, just had a few shenanigans in, uh, in Instagram. Yep, I, I, I got my act together. Um, She's preparing for the Yarny Ad Games. We do have some fun things coming up for Worldwide Knit and Public Day. 
It'd be pretty fun. She's been our Yarny Ed Games ambassador. Yes. Uh, spreading the word around on social media. So, super fun. So, yeah, so she has her own Instagram uh, page. Feel free to follow her over there. Because I love announcing to my family, Gage has this many followers. And it gets pointed out to me, isn't that a stuffed animal? And I'm like, yes, it is. And it's awesome. <laughs> yep, yep. So we had some travels this weekend and went uh, to some fun places. And she might have gotten to stay a couple extra days at one of those fun places. Because she kind of got left behind. I had to go retrieve her. It's fine. <laughs> She's only slightly upset. <laughs> she would have so much fun there. I would think so. If There's you, a lot of other, yeah. Tons of other animals. I know. Mostly teddy bears, but, right. you know, they do have foxes and um, puppies lions and, and... They used to have puppies and bunnies. Panda and bears. They don't have, they have a new, like, kind of like jungle line now. Oh. So it's like... Uh, panda bears and panda, lion, monkey. Fo- I saw a fox. It's not really jungle. Anyway, yeah, it's and all different kinds of bears, giant bears, six foot plus tall bears. You can bears buy. as big as your husband. T- yep, yep. Uh, so for anybody who's not local to us or does not follow me on Instagram or follow Cage on Instagram, we went to Vermont Teddy Bear this last weekend. It's uh, like two miles from two us. Two miles down the road. Maybe five. But. It's one of the few places where you can buy made in America um, teddy bears. So they're completely 100% manufactured right there in Shelburne, Vermont. Um, so and their process is amazing. I mean, just you can take a tour of the factory it wasn't running because we were there on the weekend but it's just it's incredible Mm -hmm. and uh the brand that they've built up Mm -hmm. um out of out of here and little old vermont us uh is pretty amazing actually so yeah um and their their bears have a lifetime guarantee so if you send them back if your dog eats it or something happens to get too close to the wood stove or something <laughs> happens to it um as long as you have so they have special they have a special thing in their eye that tells them it's a vermont teddy bear so if you have an eye or the special tag on it that can identify it as a vermont teddy bear um they will repair or replace it for free for the entire life of the bear so yeah pretty cool. a couple of them cool we have one we may have gotten a new outfit for it while we were there. My um, husband got me a purple one when we were first together. Oh. Are we married yet? I don't know if we were married yet or not. Cool. It's all purple, like dark purple. Nice. I know. Was it, it must have been like a special edition one. I think so. Yeah. They have a rainbow one now. Really? Yeah. That one's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, yeah. They do some cool stuff. They do. They do. Um, all right, but that's not why you guys came to the podcast. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Just totally derailed. This is what we do. This is what we do. What you we guys do. know that. Oh, yeah. If you're new, it really is always like this. Yeah, so if it's not, you know, yeah. your, your thing, then yeah, this is how we are. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so we got quite a list of works in progress there. I apparently have a lot of works in progress. I took off the ones I wasn't actually working on. I'm just looking to see if I actually touched all of those. Um, yeah, those are okay. Yep, those are fine. <laughs> I've been a little all over the place this week. <laughs> <laughs> so I should probably go first okay. since I have like 800. <laughs> this is really the only thing I've done anything with, and I haven't done that much. So. <gasps> Look, I've made some progress on my Yay. Blackberry shell. I'm in the middle of a row, so that's why it's all kind of scratched up here. Is that the right side? No, that's the wrong side. What is going on? All right, I don't know what's going on here. This is the Blackberry Shawl. We're doing a Blackberry Shawl along right now. So this is a fingering weight um, and with rows of mohair. Um, it looks like I did get maybe a little bit of um, mohair color variation between the two skeins. Mm. 
So these two rows of mohair got knit and then my darling dog destroyed the mohair so I had to get a replacement skein. Looks and like it's hand dyed yard so it darker. seems like maybe bit. it's a tad darker but it's totally fine. And it's so funny though sitting here I don't really notice it. I notice it on, on the, the screen, screen but I don't notice yeah. it. Just looking at it. Yep. And it could be just, you know, I think it might be the way I, it, oh, it might be because my blue arm is behind it. Your blue arm? <laughs> it might be because my blue arm is behind it. Let's see. Smurf it. Smurf it. No, I think it's a no, little No, I think it's a little, a little darker. Bit, but I mean, unless they're all dyed at the same time, it's that exactly. so hard to get it. And even same. if they are dyed at the same time, even sometimes yeah. then you get a little variation. So, yep. but that is fine. I'm not worried about it. I think it will be fun. So yes, yeah, so we are doing a Blackberry shawl knit along, uh, and you can find all the details for that in our Ravelry page. We have a really fun group over there on Ravelry, um, so come check us out. See if this is something you want to do. It's a fun knit, um, pretty fast, uh, pretty potato chippy. Um, so that's one of my works in progress. Sweet. Yeah. Do you want me to talk about? My only work in progress. Did you want me to keep talk? Do a couple more and I don't care? I'll yeah, go talk about okay. this. And all right, I started a new something on Friday, and it's a shop sample. Um, we did Stromboli as a pick of the week. I think it was a few weeks ago. Yeah, which is it? It's a lot like Broco Mykonos if you ever used that before. So I'm doing Granada, which is a Barocco pattern that was intended to be used for the Mykonos. There's the name of it. And it's an Amy Christopher's pattern. Um, so she's in charge of their design team at Barocco, um, which is why they have such great pattern support, because she's fabulous. So I'm just working on the cowl neck right now. So it's a just a big long tube I think I have to go for nine inches or something and I'm just alternating so I'm doing six rows of the Mykonos which is the darker color and I'm doing two rows in between of the Stromboli so you can see in some of these the Stromboli has a little thick and thin actually it's mostly just thick it doesn't have thinner spots um, and that it's also on the edge too so you, so can, you see can really the, see it on the edge there the, the little, little bits nubs yeah so I just have to keep going and then I will start doing the increases. It is top down. So uh, once I get this cowl neck done, then you do the increases. So it's kind of like a um, raglan style sweater is, I believe, how the increases are done. Cool. So, yeah. It would be a nice, very nice piece for summer. Yeah. Um, it's going to be mostly living in the shop. Um, for a while, but I just we didn't have the Stromboli worked up in anything, so I wanted to put it in in something so people could see what, what it, it looks, looks like. like, at least even a little bit. Yep. Yeah, it really it makes a difference, um, particularly with some of those type of a little more unusual mm -hmm. yarns for folks to be able to see them knit up. Um, yeah. I know I've bought many projects um, based on Shamp shop, shop samples because you're like, oh my gosh, that's lovely I want to make something like that or make that um, just because it makes it simple you don't have to think about it you just there it is it catches your eye yeah. so all right so let's see what else have I been working on um, I have Gretel on the list but I have not progressed to the point where I can split for the front and the back and when I do get to that point I, I'm pretty close I think I just need to measure and see where I am I'm gonna have to do some math because I'm shortening this mm -hmm. um, the pattern has it down too low and I want it up higher under my arm um, which means I have to shorten this section of the pattern mm -hmm. so I need to find some time uh, and quiet to mm -hmm. things that are in short supply sometimes uh, in my life uh, to be able to concentrate to do the math or see if I can do the math and if I can't come get some help from Damasta uh, but I'd like to at least take a stab at it first to see if I can't yeah. do it if you have um, like 
time during the day sometime. You could just come here and sit at the back table. and I might. I might have to. And do it. Yeah. I haven't been grabbing that bag, though, mm. um, to go to work with me, but mm-hmm. I may need to change, to just do it, just to, because that's kind of, st- that project is a little stalled out, because I know I need to take care of that. Yeah, and until I really get that nailed down, then I can't. There's I, there's only a little bit further that I can actually go. Yeah. Um, so, which is kind of sad because really this section here, it was not going to take that long because there's just no sleeves on it. <laughs> it's like once you mm-hmm. get to that point, it would be like quick, quick, and then you'd have a finished object. Mm-hmm. But that's the way they go. These projects go sometimes. Yep. Um, so I did... So Kelly, um, so Kelly sold me some cranky sheeps a while ago. I think I did. I pick these up from you when we were at the retreat. I think so yeah. I bought them like a couple of days before the retreat, and I was just bringing them with you. So March, end yeah. of February. Mm-hmm. So there's Kelly's cranky sheep stuff. Um, sock sock tubes because I was gonna make these for my brother for his birthday which was in February which it was still I'm still doing good now I think they're gonna become a Christmas present <laughs> I'm gonna be ahead of the game and birthday whatever excellent so I have the the nice. cuff in the first one and I have the heel in the first one and I post the little thingy on Instagram about picking up the stitches and cutting and getting the heel in I have not done the toe yet <laughs> I will get to that um, but for me this was easiest because I knew how long I wanted the cuff to be yeah and then I can put the heel in and then I can figure out where I need to start the toe what I think I might do because these are for my brother is have my husband try them on they have mm. very closely sized feet mm-hmm. because then when it's on his foot even though this is all going to be hanging off I can tell I can mark right along here where I need to start my yeah my toe perfect yeah and I'll have some extra I mean I probably maybe I'll do a shorty pair of I might maybe a hybrid because I probably will have about this much mm-hmm. left so you probably have enough to do the foot so you probably could do a cuff the toe a heel and, a, and a toe yeah and you'd have to just do the cuff a little bit we might have to do some extra rows of the cuff but yeah so and probably for myself for sure Mm -hmm. so anyway so that's so that's good um because I just was on the roll so I did I did both the cuffs at the same time and then I got on the needles to uh to unpick I just haven't again it's like I need a little bit of quiet time to cut not a huge amount. I also need pretty good light. Yeah, lighting That's the is, other thing yeah. for me. Like, the light is almost more important than the quiet for this type of for project. Um, so, anyway. So, it's ready to go when I have good light. And the heel doesn't take that long. Um, I'm using... Uh, I, it's the um, Laura Lenneman's afterthought after heel mm-hmm. I thought I would give it a go I hadn't tried that one before um, and so it was pretty good of course if I could read the directions that would also help <laughs> so, having some reading comprehension pattern reading issues lately so anyway close to a finished object I have two more tubes at home <laughs> two, but the two other tubes I have at home that Kelly's cranked for me are all one big long tube so those I'll do a little bit differently. So these I have matchy tubes. The other two, I will start here with the cuff, put the heel in, and then put the toe in, and then start with the second sock. I might work it backwards, but I may just continue. Mm-hmm. Cuff, heel, toe, cut. Because I think I can get two pairs out of one big long tube, particularly if yeah. they're for me. I was going to say, if they're for you, you probably yeah. can. Yep. So... So, some progress. Or knit one and a half pair, and then you'll have a spare. Exactly. (laughs) Just in case. (laughs) But, you know, this, I was thinking about it, um, because I have a couple of pairs of socks that are sitting up on my dresser, hand-knit socks, where the heels have worn out, Mm. because they were 100% merino. They didn't have any nylon in the the sock yarn. 
And I think I'm going to go pick up stitches around and clip it out and just re-knit the heel on both of the socks mm-hmm. in a different color, in a contrasting color. And it will allow me to keep those socks and get yeah. some more use out of them because they're really heavily patterned. It was back in the day when I was doing lots of sock knitting with lots of cables and lace and other stuff. And You did a lot of the cookie A stuff, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, and, and the um, Blue Moon Fiber Arts Club. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's Blue Moon Fiber Arts Yarn. Um, so it's beautiful yarn, and I yeah. just I, I haven't had the heart to th- – I don't want to throw them away. But yeah. I think I can, with this skill set, can get in and repair yeah, them. that's a great idea. So I can salvage those socks, yeah. which has made me pretty excited. Excellent. I'm so happy. Okay, I should probably put the sock back in the bag. And with my little meerkat bag that um, Darn Yarn MN sent us. I know. I saw so mine the other day. Cute. I've got some socks in mine, and I have to pull them back out. So it is cute. really cute. I love that little bag. I know. It's so much fun. And she has very well-made bags. Um, I would definitely check recommend checking out her Etsy shop, and we have some of her bags in our store. I've got to order some more. We've sold through some of them. She's them. got some new stuff she's been working on, is too, she? different styles of bags nice. and, and things. So super cool. Super cool. Let's see. What else am I working on? Oh, I talked about it in outtakes, but I'll talk about it again. <laughs> That's right. I was like, oh, you already talked. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, So this is Abigail's sweater. You know, DK weight, kid sweater. Split for the sleeves, working on the body. Making some pretty good progress. Stay tuned for the outtakes to find out (laughs) what problem I had with the sweater. Because you know there's always at least one. (laughs) It's so cute. Isn't it? So cute. So cute. So cute. So this is um, Granny's Granny's favorite. Um, by I think last week I said Georgie Hallam, which was her. Oh, it is Georgie Hallam. What did I say her name? I think you said that. Did right. I say Hallam? Okay. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Because I think she used to be Georgie Nicholson, maybe. Oh. So, all right. So, yes, Georgie Hallam. Um, she does the she did the Milo vest, uh, which I've made a ton of. It's a great baby and kids little quick project. Um, and this has been a fun project, too. So, so let's see. So. I have this much yarn left in my first skein. So I probably should start working in my second skein because I'm clearly not going to be done with the body unless I decide it's going to be a crop cardigan but probably not so I should probably start alternating skeins yeah she'll get so much more wear out of it if you do it longer exactly she can wear it for longer Ex- ex- uh, okay exactly <laughs> hits the coffee guys <laughs> <laughs> super excited to see everybody <laughs> just kidding uh, and Kelly <laughs> Fun times. Uh, what, did I work on anything else? I'm ready to go with changes. Changes shawl. I understand my new yarn was delivered today according to my tracking. Excellent. Very excited. I'm going to go home and I'm going to wind that yarn. Or if I don't, I'm going to grab it and stop by the store tomorrow and wind my yarn. <laughs> so I'm ready to go because I would like to finish that change a shawl it is my new mission finish that shawl it's so close i'm so close i gotta pull mine out and finish mine and i will clearly get distracted with something else over the weekend yeah i can almost guarantee it (laughs) i know the weather keeps changing for the weekend because i thought it was going to be like an all day outside work weekend but Mm -hmm. i don't know we are supposed to go to the Virgins Parade on Monday oh, because my Cub Scout uh, is, uh, his troop is marching in the parade. So I'm just fingers crossed hoping that it's not raining. Mm. We have a funeral to go to on mm. Saturday. So, mm. I know. It's okay. I'm hoping it's going to be more a celebration of life. Nice. That's somebody always. Somebody that lived a good, long, full life. Nice. But 
Her nice. passing was somewhat unexpected, so mm. it was tough. But yeah. Um, but then the rest of the weekend should be good. And nice. The Vir- Virgin's Parade is um, is a good. They do good yeah, parades it's, for. It's, I think a the lot of their different bigger Memorial Day yeah. parade and Bristol has a pretty big Fourth of July parade, mm-hmm. which I'm sure he'll be marching in as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so that'll be fun. Where it's the new the new where he gets to participate instead of watch on the sidelines right so yeah good be fun i did oh i have one more project didn't actually make it on the list um i worked a little bit more on these guys these socks that have been on the news forever (laughs) and i just kind of picked them up they kind of are my walking around yeah um travel project I was knitting on these while we were on the tour at the teddy bear factory so just working on the foot nice you might uh have seen these before I think I've been working on them since like January this is sock number one (laughs) uh you know the nice thing about socks they can just hang out and you can pick it up when you need to and put it back down you don't really need a pattern well, for just a vanilla sock, I don't use mm, yeah, pattern don't for these. I just go. So this uh, yarn is Into the World. It's pretty. Uh, it's the colorway I said is Into the Black is uh, what it's called. I love their yarn. And now that I've discovered that on Sundays at Rhinebeck, they put out their $15 skein bin. Mm trouble because it's all like their mill ends or their colors that weren't quite right but yeah. I got some nice yarn yeah. on that last year I so. remember you saying that I didn't end up getting back over there last I think year. I saw it on Instagram Instagram is my downfall you guys <laughs> they posted on Instagram about the you're like wait 15, I gotta go yeah the $15 sale rack it might have been at overnight or first thing in yeah, the morning or something right. and I was like oh I'm going to brave it because I haven't made it over there yet. I mean, their their regular yarn is just stunningly it beautiful. Is. I know. I've got some skeins I still haven't done anything with that I really need I've, to. Yeah, I have some of that too. Every time I go looking for something else, I am reminded of yarn that I already have. And then I sort of go, why do you buy more yarn? You've got lots of yarn. Particularly, why do you buy sock yarn? <laughs> I don't know. Because I can't help it. Because there might be, I don't know, a yarn apocalypse. (laughs) And I won't be able to buy yarn ever again. And I'll need something to do. I don't know. As long as nobody broke into the, you know, yarn store, we'd have a lot to last us for quite a while. I know. I know, which is why I'm not really sure why (laughs) I think there's going to be a yarn apocalypse. (laughs) So... Who knows? I mean, as I've said before, buying yarn and using yarn are clearly two different hobbies. Yeah. I, I do both. Yep. I have both as hobbies. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have some more coffee now. Okay, you have some more. Which is my awesome Yeti coffee cup, mm-hmm. which is um, insulated, mm-hmm. double insulated, uh, generally uh, meant for hot coffee it's great for cold stuff but it is great for cold Mm -hmm. stuff too uh i have had hot coffee in this mug in the winter when it's like 20 below outside and it will keep this warm in my car when the heat's not on my car for like an hour or two it's amazing i mean it's not hot hot but it's still warm they are great i have um my sister got my husband and i each one the little the tumblers Mm -mm. And I usually have it here. I just took it home the other day because uh, I had tea in it, and I was um, driving home with it. Um, but I usually have that, and it's great because if I'm working with a customer or bouncing between different things, I don't always Keeps get to drink. Warm. Yeah, I don't always get to sit down and drink my tea or coffee all in one sitting. Yeah. So it keeps it nice and warm yes. while I'm doing other things, which is great. I will say the only downside to this cup in 20 below is that it is metal and it's really <laughs> cold <laughs> but yeah. it warms up relatively quickly in your hand and then it doesn't anyway um i also have a yeti 
wine glass, oh. which is also really nice. It's metal. It's not breakable. And it will keep, like, white wine cold. Oh, nice. For, yeah. Um, so there's that, too. But I, I just figured I should say what it is because I've gotten a couple questions about the water bottles that I'm always mm-hmm. using. So clean canteen, if anybody's curious. You can get them on Amazon. I have one of those, but then I get one of the Hydro Flask ones. Do you like the Hydro Flask better? Because they're double wall insulated, oh, too. So yeah. you can put ice in these, and then you'll still have ice by the end of the day. But it doesn't sweat because it's and, double wall. And wall-ed. it doesn't sweat. Yeah. So those are single wall. They will warm up, and they yeah. will sweat. So I might have to check into those. Yeah, they're great. Though, of course. And if, you can get all different types of tops for them, too. I was going to say, though, of course, if another water bottle shows up at my house, my husband be like, be, might be like, really? I know. <laughs> like, water bottles everywhere. Yeah. I like the metal ones, though. I've really gotten away from too. the plastic ones. Yeah. Some people don't like the metal because they can taste the, the metal. metal in it. I don't. That, that doesn't, doesn't bother me. No. I actually, I think plastic sometimes holds holds flavors. Mm-hmm. Even if I hand wash my plastic ones, I can uh-huh. still taste and rinse them really, really well. It, I, They feel like they still have the dish soap taste to it. Yep. Or if yep. you have, if you put like lemon like or juice something. or lemon yeah. or iced tea or something in them. Mm-hmm. Even if you scrub them really well, I feel like that yep. I can still taste that. So, and and I don't like leaving. And they say that you shouldn't leave them in a hot car. In a hot car because yeah. it'll leach some of the yep. chemicals from them out. So I, yep. I like the I really like the metal ones, and I don't I don't have I don't taste the metallic taste of it. So it doesn't bother me. But I do like that the double walled although I did drop it and it's got a big dent in it so I, mine doesn't isn't as insulated mine has like dents and scratches yeah. all over it this yeah. one this is the, the big boy um one of mine I have a smaller just silver clean canteen yeah. and I don't use too much anymore because it's too small I'm gonna probably pass it on to one of my kids uh I left water in it left it in the car in the winter and so the oh water froze and it pushed the bottom out so there's like the bottom was like concave hammer fixed that literally just took turn and just pounded it back it's metal oh my gosh it was fine and it didn't break it Mm -mm. i didn't do it when i was cold no but But sometimes if you work some metals are will eventually get i mean it looks like it's stress then in a battering <laughs> ram on the bottom of it. And it's still not quite level, but it, it will at least stand up. Sit, sit relatively flat. Without roll. I mean, because before it was like a weeble wobble. Like, it's just like, <laughs> Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah, it just got left in the car. Had too much water in it. Froze that pup of solid. Pushed the bottom right out. Yeah, so. they do that. It's amazing. Mother Nature. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And, all right. What else do we got going on? I don't know. Are we done with our works in progress? I think so. Um, I didn't really work on the Crochet Libertas cardigan, so I'm not going to show that. And I can't because it's at home. <laughs> Um, But we do have some events coming up. We have all kinds of fun events coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about our fun events. I am too. We have Worldwide Knit and Public Day, June 8th. And uh, everybody has been busily working on what we are calling our must-love Yarniad games. So... You know it's going to be a hoot. I know. There will be medals. Mm-hmm. Medals. Paper medal. Paper medals. But medals nonetheless. Right. And there's going to be fun games like needle javelins and speed knitting and pom pom tossing. I heard something up I, I I know I am not getting everything because there was a whole list it's of, a whole long list whole long list of mm-hmm. games um, so it'll be fun we're gonna start the festivities around 11 30 mm-hmm. 
we will have all we meaning muscle of yarn will provide the sandwich fixings um, to make deli sandwiches and we ask that people just bring a side or a dessert to share and we do the rest of it sort of potluck style you can bring your own drinks bring we your will own have drinks. some stuff here but yeah super fun um we have you know some like plates and things lots of people bring their own because they have travel plates or whatever to not use um, paper plates which is awesome and should be fun we'll do it rain or shine if it's rainy we'll figure out plan b we usually have like pop-up tents and stuff that uh, we bring and other people bring we had a whole bunch on the lawn last year it was super fun cool. i know i didn't get to come last year yeah we were doing other fun stuff though mm-hmm. it was. so that sh- it should be a good time it should be really fun and we have uh, the Great Northern Yarn Hall is in July. Mm-hmm. We have the details about that. We have some fun events um, that are happening during that time frame. I do. So uh, we have a, the talk that Kelly um, mentioned last week mm-hmm. uh, to kick off the Northern Yarn Hall. And we kind of end the Northern Yarn Hall with our stitch and pitch at the Lake Blasters mm-hmm. on the 27th. So it's also Star Wars night. Although it's ending in August this year. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's towards the end. Towards the end. But not the end. Um, so take a look. We have all this information in the show notes, which we'll try to be really good about getting up this yeah. time. Or it's all on our website, um, I think. Is it on our website? I forgot. We're starting to put some of the up on the events calendar. Okay. If you click, there's an events calendar section. There's an events, classes and events, but if you click on the events calendar, I'm starting to list those. Nice. With more information there. Awesome. And. Because I know we don't have tickets yet for the right Lake Monsters game. But we'll link to all of that. So if you find where the information is, we'll, we'll put links in once we do have them. And I'm going to send out an email soon with more information on some of the events. Um, and we'll keep sending out emails as we have the information for everybody nice uh, but we are adding one other event to our calendar for june and july and that is if you are familiar with the butterfly or papillon shawl it's a short row shawl there's also a cowl uh, we are lucky enough to have uh, marin who's local to us she's a designer and she's going to be doing a workshop here at the uh, at the awesome. store and that is going to be happening Thursday evening. So if you have Thursday evenings available, make sure you block those off. We're going to have more details coming within the, just in the next couple of days because we want to get that going because we're going to be hopefully starting that mid-June. Awesome. And it's going to, the class itself is going to be either a one- or two-day class, but then Marin has uh, so kindly agreed to do some workshops, some drop-in workshops. So if you've been working on it and you need a little help, or if you've been part of the class and you want to continue coming in for little help sessions, she will be here for that. And there will be a small charge for that part of it. And then the class will have um, its own fee as well. Awesome. Yeah. It's going to be a great class. The the pattern is lovely. Beautiful. If you haven't seen it. It's really lovely. I have linked to both the shawl and the cowl in show notes so awesome be sure to check that out if that's something that you're yeah, interested gorgeous. in yeah super fun it's a great um pattern for using stash busting stash busting little bits and bobs yeah you can use mini skeins or some little leftover pieces um it's pretty it's it's kind of it's amazing but also like i think you can use like the sour balls mm-hmm. or some of those types of yarns long that color long color repeats, repeats. Yep. yep work well as well so yep um it's i mean we have been lucky enough to be able to see her stuff in person yeah the finished objects and they're just they're amazing yep we've got some very talented people around oh, us. we absolutely do we absolutely do so i think the only other thing that we have not mentioned is the crochet along <laughs> right that's right because you did mention the knit along <laughs> yes so take it away Kyle, because that one that one's your baby it's the angela's not allowed. even though i might have been on the ravelry group approving things <laughs> <laughs> i know for... she just took over it's okay <laughs> was approving entries i was like yeah it's not my knittle, it's not my crochet along but i say it's fine so go ahead <laughs> 
When in doubt, ask Angela, because she'll probably say yes. Clearly, the title of the crochet along is not impeding my <laughs> my ability to participate. I'm just busting through like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we come. <laughs> Uh, Crochet Along started May 3rd and is running through July 3rd. Whips are allowed. And although it may run longer because July 4th is Thursday. Thursday. And that's usually when we record. So we might have to play with. We're going to have to play with it because I'm going to be out of town until I think the 3rd. Anyway, anyway, that's. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But anyway, it runs through sometime in July. And. Whips are allowed, so if you've been working on something, you can enter that. And uh, if you have smaller projects, just group a few together. Or make your case for why the small one should count. And be sure to ask Angela. Ask me, because I don't know. I'm like, oh, sure, it's totally fine. There you go. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, so rules are pretty loose. (laughs) If you know anything about our knit alongs, if you can make the argument... And I can and I can buy it without laughing. Even sometimes <laughs> if I am laughing, I'm like, "Oh, you win because I'm laughing." Right? Uh, yeah, we're not real big sticklers on the rules. Nah, it's supposed to be for fun. Yep. So, anyway. Yep. Yes. So come crochet with us. That Angela is not allowed crochet along, mm-hmm. which clearly she really is. Allowed. I'm paying attention to the title. No, it was a joke. It started as a joke, and it just... It's like the meerkat. It started as a joke, and look, now we have a mascot, and we've got meerkat bling, and, you know... And Angela's becoming a proficient crocheter. I am. I'm not going to have to crochet her things for her. Uh, um, well, <laughs> I got the granny square stitch down, and by granny square stitch, at least now I know the difference between a half double crochet and a double crochet. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah. So? Next up, new Stormtrooper. Or... Not so angry Stormtrooper. Yoda. Yoda. Right. I should probably do the Yoda. Yoda's pretty cute. He is cute. Cool. Yeah. I'll give you guys a close-up of the Stormtrooper. He's kind of a... <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. No, it's early. I'd probably do it better now, even. He looks almost like he's a pirate. This almost looks like an eye patch. I know. <laughs> uh, I pro. I think it's partially because it pushed up. It pushed I went up, but I think my the stitch changed because it's different over here than oh. what's there. Hmm. Huh? Who knows? Anyway. He's kind of special. He's my wonky little stormtrooper. Angry stormtrooper. Clearly some things happen in the back um, where stuff was not matching <laughs> up. Don't look too closely at the back. <laughs> I think so, he's cute. He is cute. He's got personality. That's right. We like personality. Mm-hmm. Except maybe Gage is like, get this guy off my back. People so, are sending Gage outfits. I have heard... I called out last week. I should learn by now. I know. There's at least two that I know of that are on their way. A couple of people asked for um, gauges <laughs> measurements. measurements. Her digits. Her digits. Um, I did take the digits. And I think the sticky note is sitting on my desk at work. Because <laughs> that's helpful. <laughs> I will... Uh, I'll post them out on social media. Cause or you can pop them down in the bottom of show notes. Oh, I'll put them in the bottom of show notes, guys. And I did them in centimeters because uh, she's so small that trying to do it in inches was really not going to be that precise. Um, so, like, when you take your kids to the doctor for, well, child visits, they do the head measurement in centimeters. Mm-hmm. So it's the same sort of concept because you can – anyway, so that's why all the measurements are in centimeters. Okay. I like centimeters. Yeah, you do. And it's on the back side of your tape measure, so it's right there. It's not like you have to find another implement. Hopefully. Hopefully. If you have a tape measure. If not, just wing it. 
10 centimeters is four inches, about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is a stuffed animal after all, so close enough is close enough. Yeah. We can always pin it or jam her into it because it's not like she has to breathe. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Sorry. Why is her face turning purple? <laughs> we don't have to worry about those things. For the stuffed animal. Totally fine. Nope. Nope. I know. I've seen at least one of the things that got posted in the Ravelry group. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. I can't wait to see it on. And somebody else mentioned on Instagram that they were sending out a package. I will put together prizes. Some of them might be... Um, gifted patterns because that's super easy for me to do um but we'll see i'm working on it cool we'll pull some stuff together be fun Fun. i know cool well i think that's all i've got yeah that's all i got okay excellent uh till next week i is it a couple weeks that we have coming up that it looks like yeah, we, we might have to... The 6th of June. I've got sales rep all day. Okay. Sales reps. That's okay. I think I have some stuff in the afternoon that was going to make it tough for me to be here anyway, so we'll have to maybe move the Figure podcast day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. We can do awesome. that. Awesome. Yay. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Boop. Do you look? Gage has the torch. I know, I love it. The, the needle torch. Mm-hmm. An angry stormtrooper. Angry. Isn't he angry? Mm-hmm. He's angry. He's very frowny. Yeah, it's the mouth and the eyes. And the and the so the little black part that goes yeah. across. It makes him look like he's got a furrowed brow. A unibrow. <laughs> a furrowed unibrow. Yeah, the eye placement maybe was not the best. You know, yeah. What are you, what are you gonna do? Dark. I know. It's funny. I, I think it. it's funny too, which is why he got nicknamed Angry Stormtrooper because it's funny. Right. Was it funny? So I made some pretty good progress on. Did you? Um, so my knitting shenanigans have continued. Oh no. This was funny though. So. Look at the progress I've made on this Oh my goodness, sweater. that's flying. Yeah. That's so cute. So I got to the point where I was separating for the sleeves, and my stitch count doesn't match any of the sizes. <laughs> I know, right? Um, but it's clearly big enough to fit her, mm-hmm. and it hasn't been... Well, I mean, it's going to get bigger, because it's like a super wash. So it's... um. So I'm not really worried about the size, no. but it does. I was I had to do some math to try to figure out how what I was how I was gonna split for like this this body and the uh, sleeves because like for the fronts and the yeah because that ended up being my actual yeah numbers that was what the size the number on the size was supposed to be uh, um, and clearly those don't match. Well, I mean like that one matches that size that matches that size. Like, it's just, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, they're just all over the place. This, the two, the fronts don't match anything. I mean, like, it's just weird. So, I, on at least one, if not all of the increased rows, I clearly did not do something right, or messed up, or wasn't paying close enough attention. I don't know. Whatever. It'll fit her, and I had to, I, I mean, I just, I figured it out because I got to the last the front section and I was like there's not 32 stitches there (laughs) something's off in fact there's like 12 stitches what's going on so then I had to uh, tink back a little bit but it's just math doesn't really matter no you can work it out yeah it's not it well I also can't can't read because that says that's fine knit 27 knit in the front and the back i missed the knits in the fronts and the back uh, in front of the arms so there was uh, that was four of the stitches that i was missing gotcha but i just caught those on the return row 
and I did the yeah, pearl. Like, I pearled in the front and the back in the yeah. two spots. Um, so it's fine. See, this is why you can adjust things. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody will ever know. You look at this little sweater and it's going to be fine. I was having a conversation with a customer who's been doing some private lessons with me and, she, and she, we were talking about perfection and yeah, I mean, you want so things to look nice, but it's... You could drive yourself to... There's very little that is truly perfect. Oh, yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Anywhere. Anything. Except for maybe us, but that's... <laughs> just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. That was a joke. You and you. You're kidding. perfect. I'm not. By any stretch of the imagination. Um... So th I've been, that's mostly what I've been working on, is that cool. that one. But I'm trying to figure out what I want to work on right now. I'm working on a shop sample. Oh. Is that Mykonos? Mykonos and Stromboli. Stromboli. I'm mixing them together. Nice. What do I want to work on right now? <laughs> I don't know. This is my problem. I have like four projects, soon to be five, because I'm going to be able to start changing the shawl back up again. Where I just am, um, I kind of want to work on all of them, but I don't have the time. Yeah. So then I can't decide which one I want to work on. We've had such good weather lately that, that any any time that it's been good and I've had some free time, I'm like outside working on mm, not me but um stuff we're trying to get our cold. we're re we're resurrecting our garden this summer oh, nice. oh which since we i didn't think that i brought this well there oh, you go sweet my finished object is here i thought it was at home i wasn't sure where it had gone off <laughs> where it had made itself a way to with gage and the stormtrooper probably jeez louise <laughs> Do I want to do this? I don't even know. See, I don't know. I don't know. What do I want to do? Um, I don't want to do... Oh, no. Okay, that's just... All right. I'm, I may stop this one after I get to the next... Through the next row, because then it's going to be a mohair row, and that's... I have to pay a little more attention to treasure mohair. Back in business. It's coming along. Go. Going. Lots of ends to weave in. But again, changes has the change of shawl has <laughs> warped my sense of <laughs> what's too many ends to weave in. <laughs> Cause clearly that one takes that one the does. cake for it's so pretty though. Number it's so of worth it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chewtily. So what is that going to be? That. Oh. So is the... Are you making it straight beat? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Yep. I'm striping it. Nice. Because I wanted something easy just to show off the stromboli a little bit. Mm hmm. Because we don't have anything made up in that. So. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. So I'm just doing the big long cowl neck right now. Yeah. Because there's a lot of that. I bet. Well, should we get our, our show on the road here? Sure. All right. 